I'd just like to speak a little bit tonight from the book of Esther. And speaking from Esther, well, what we need to do is we need to get back to tradition. We need to put aside all of the foolishness. When we look at the book of Esther, we see that Esther was a queen. But Esther showed her strength through her position, not trying to be a man. Now we see that we're running out of time. The days are getting shorter. We have the co this uh, oh coronavirus. This coronavirus is coming around. It's escalating and it's taking lives. People are fearing. They're purchasing everything in the stores. What are we going to do when food runs out? What happens when we can't go to the store and buy, buy basic foods? It's time that we turn the wrath of God away from this world. It's time that ladies, rather than trying to be strong in being like a man, it's time to be strong in being a woman, a female, a lady. When we look at the women of times past, well, they, you know, were happy and content to be wives and mothers. But today, see, so much has changed. Feminism, it destroyed the church, destroyed society, and it got to the point where women felt like they had to be like men. But true strength isn't in trying to be a man. True strength is in being the woman God made you. Now when we look at it, there was a man who came into this world. He came in the form of an Enoch, and his name was Jesus. And while he could be bold, he could also be meek. And see, he was glorified through meekness, not through boldness. Sure, he cleared the temple, yes. He got rid of those who bought and sold. Those who made merchandise of the Word of God. But, his true glory came in meekness when he went to the cross. See, and we're created male and female. Men are type and shadow of Jesus. Women are type and shadow of his bride, the church. If you really stop and think about it, traditional values, maybe it's time. Since women have gotten up to declare their desire to be like men, maybe it's time ladies got up to declare their right to be ladies. Maybe it's time to declare your femininity. Maybe it's time to declare being a wife and a mother. Maybe it's time to just be bold in femininity as the feminists were with trying to achieve masculinity. And maybe in doing that, maybe it'll turn away the wrath of God. Get back to the dresses. Get back to the veils. Oh, you need not veil your face like this neck out. But with coronavirus coming around, it seems like the wise thing to do. It does protect your sinuses, your eyes, protects your lungs, your respiratory system, and multiple layers, the dress, the avia. It does protect against germs, the gloves. Ladies always wear gloves. And that, it protects your hands. It keeps them from touching germs. And for those who, you know, may be oh, allergic to rubber gloves, these gloves would work just fine. Anything would be a help. But see, we can stand on our pride and our own pride can destroy us. Or we can 
humble herself as the perfect example, our Lord and Savior Jesus, we can humble ourselves like He did. Be what He made us. And through that humility, please Him. You know, it's written, God resists the proud, but He gives grace unto the humble. Maybe it's time we try that. Show our strength, but show it the way we should. Don't try to show strength, trying to be a man. But ladies, show strength in declaring who you are. Created female to be the bride of Christ. That similitude, that type and shadow, where you were created to be a type and shadow of our Lord's bride. And then maybe it's time we did that. Maybe then it would turn the wrath of God. Oh, it'll still be on the proud. But even though his grace is upon the proud, or his wrath is upon the proud, his grace will be upon the humble. See, the wrath of God has been kindled. We see one trip catastrophe after another coming. It's just a matter of time. Each one gets worse. If we can bury our pride, God will have grace upon the humble. And yes, His wrath will be poured out on this world, just as it was written. But in the meanwhile, maybe it's time we show strength and boldness in the proper way. Lord knows that Satan has used women to show boldness to try to be men. Maybe now it's time that the ladies stand up. The ones who love traditional values to be wives, to be mothers. Those who cherish and see the importance of Mary bear children guide the house. Be discreet chaste. Be keepers at home. Older women teaching younger, mothers teaching daughters. Stand up and declare. Be strong for who God made you to be. May everybody have a blessed day.